Hello, Internet. It's time for Wednesday's cereal. This time, I want to talk about Scarlet number three. Now this is Bendis and Malieve doing their thing, three issues in, people are kind of picking up but things are changing from time to time, and this issue is just another great installment in a series that, even I have to admit, is really awesome, and if you're not picking it up, find a friend who is and read it off them. Now what's great about this comic in a lot of ways is there's so many times when people complain about people putting their personal feelings or whatever into the book. But with this book, if you don't like it to begin with, you're not going to like it at all, because all that this is is a character in your face, literally, using the sec second person, which is rare. But they're making it work. It's such a huge device for this comic. And she's talking to you, but it's the general you, which leads to the end of this issue in particular, when th things hit a whole new scale. And this becomes kind of, in a little way, reminiscent of Kick-Ass, I guess, but more thoughtful and I think much better handled but kind of gets at a similar point but it's handled so differently and obviously really hasn't to say it but that idea of public awareness of people going out and making stuff happen is there and to that before they hit that high scale note um they have a bit where Scarlet's talking to a friend of hers and her ex well not really ex but her old boyfriend's she confesses to him, but in doing so, there's this one frame, and that's the one thing I kind of wanted to point out in this issue above. I mean, amongst a lot of great stuff, there's this one frame that just breaks so much. And before I talk about it too much more, I'm going to pause here and allow you to see the single frame that I am talking about, where she has just admitted to someone that she has murdered a cop in cold blood. Now that frame does not have the facial feature that I'd expect at all, and it's not like weird or quirky or insight, it just seems wrong to me. Not like, oh you're getting a psychotic sense or reveal something about the character, it just feels wrong. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about, where you don't see this much in professional comics, at least to my knowledge, where something's going along fine. But then you hit that one frame, and you see it a little more in some independent stuff and whatnot. But it's the idea of when you're a poet, every word counts. When you're a novelist, you know, every paragraph counts. But when you're writing these comics, every panel counts. And this is something where the writing was fine. And the art, by all rights, artistically is fine. But in conjunction with everything, it falls apart. And for comic art, this isn't working. There was that, and there's also the scene where Scarlet needs to get away, and sh there's a red wig in a puddle, and the police think she's not a redhead, so now I'm confused if that's just something they're supposed to be thinking, or if it's something that the reader's supposed to be picking up on. It raises a question. The way that it's handled is, I think that's just how she got away for the issue, but it's just kind of confusing in that, right? I think the call quality is slipping. I think this is one thing that speaks to the fact that some of these books, I mean, when they're delayed, they come out right, which a lot of people have a problem with with the serial fiction and whatnot. But I think if um, sometimes, especially for these books that aren't Spider-Man or whatever, they don't need to come out month to month. They're not holding up other continuity. People take the time and get it right. It's annoying to wait, but in the end, that $4 or whatever you're spending comes out being worth it and I'd much rather have a I mean this book's already bi-monthly but if it was bi-monthly in a week or whatever to get it done and get it right I'd rather have it right than have it wait because it's not anything that I'm anxiously awaiting for I mean I do want to read the next issue but it'll get here when it gets here so yeah, wild, crazy tangent, but um, yeah, I just uh, hadn't done anything really in a while, and this was something that really stuck out to me, so I thought I'd share it. And um, I'll hit you soon. That second part of that Daredevil thing's coming out very soon, and I'm trying to work to get ahead on that so I can do that a bit more frequently. 
there's any issues that you guys want me to look at, you know, let me know. So question of the video is, has there ever been like a frame or a page or something in a comic that just shouldn't have gotten to you so much, but just completely pulled you out of it? Um, if you have anything, you know, leave a comment below. Please like the video and I'll check you guys soon.